so we have two blocks here uh one of mass 2 kg and the other one of mass uh, 5 kg and then there's a force applied on the 5 kg block at an angle of uh 20 degrees and then uh, we are told that uh, the 2 kg and the 5 kg blocks they both experience kinetic frictional forces right of 10 newton and 15 newton respectively right so the 2 kg block experiences a kinetic frictional force of 10 newtons and then the 5 kg a kinetic frictional force of 15 newton uh, that's what respectively is basically telling us and then the first question 2.1.1 says let's state newton's second law of motion again uh, newton's second law of motion in words it just stated that uh, when a non-zero resulting force is applied on an object the object will accelerate in the direction of the non-zero resulting force with an acceleration directly proportional to the f net and inversely proportional to the mass right so we know fully well that f net uh, is equals to ma and then in this equation if you make acceleration uh, the subject of the formula you basically get the definition right uh, acceleration will be equals to f net uh, divided by the mass uh, clearly in this case the acceleration is directly proportional to the f net and inversely proportional to the mass right and then 2.1.2 says uh, let's draw a labeled free body diagram for the 5 kg block so here's our 5 kg block here right uh, so free body diagram we denote uh, the body with a dot right so there we have our dot uh, we are told that there's a force applied right at an angle of 20 degrees relative to the horizontal so let's have that uh, force that is applied right so we have f a uh, a denoting applied and then no questions asked any object on earth will always experience fg right uh, the force of gravity so we have fg and then if that body rests on a surface then the surface will exert a normal force on the body right so there we go uh, normal force and then apart from the normal force uh, the 2 kg and the 5 kg block are connected by a string right so we must have tension right so we have tension there we are also told that there's a kinetic frictional force acting on the blocks right so we can have uh, fr also acting to the left so let's you know do 2.1.3 which says that uh, let's calculate the magnitude of force f uh, force f is the applied force right uh, that must be applied at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal to make the two blocks accelerate at two meters per second to the right so in this situation we need the acceleration to be equals to two meters uh, per second so here uh, we're trying to find the magnitude of force f that must be applied at an angle 20 degrees to the horizontal right so the force f that is applied is applied on the 5 kg block so we're gonna go to the 5 kg block and try see if we can get uh, the magnitude of force f uh, so what are we essentially saying we say that uh, for the 5 kg block right uh, f net is equals to m a right so now in place of f net we can add the forces that are acting and in place of m a we have the mass and we know the acceleration so which forces are acting we know that along the horizontal uh, we are gonna have f a uh, x right we're gonna resolve the force applied along the x right and then now we're gonna minus all the forces that are opposing the motion which forces are opposing the motion obviously frictional force will be opposing the motion and then the tension force will also be opposing the motion and this will all be equals to ma so what is uh fax fax will be the force applied uh multiplied by uh cost of 20 degrees we know fully well that if you wanna find the x component you take cos of the angle and then if you want to find uh, the y component you take sine of the angle uh, assuming that you are on a flat surface right and then minus frictional force uh, the frictional force it is said to be equals to uh, 15 newton right so minus 15 and then minus uh, the tension 
uh, we don't know what the tin chain is uh, so we're just gonna leave it like that for the moment and then that is all equals to ma right we know the mass fully well uh, the mass is five and the acceleration uh, we assuming that it is two right uh, the question says uh, let's find the magnitude of the force f that must be applied uh, if the blocks will accelerate at two meters per second so now let's go ahead and solve for fa cos of 20 degrees right so we have fa uh, cos of 20 degrees being equals to uh, so we're taking minus 15 to the right hand side and minus tension right uh, but then on the right hand side we have 5 multiplied by 2 which is just 10 so we're going to have 10 plus 15 plus tension right so now we can divide both sides by cos of 20 so we're gonna get a uh, force applied being equals to uh, 25 plus the tension divided by cos of 20 so it's easy to see now that uh, we just need the tension if we get the tension then we basically have uh, the force applied right so we have already used the 5 kg block what we can do now is to use the 2 kg block and see if we can get uh, the tension from the 2 kg block so from the 2 kg block uh, there is the tension that is pulling it to the right and the frictional force that is pulling it to the left right so uh, we're gonna have something of this manner so we have 2 kg and then in place of 2 kg we know fully well that f net is always equals to ma so now uh, the force that is greater than the other is the tension and then we're going to subtract the force that is opposing which is the frictional force and this will be equals to ma uh, but we know fully well what the frictional force is right it's given to us it is said to be equals to uh, 10 newton right so we have frictional which is 10 newton uh, the mass is 2 kgs the acceleration is 2 so the tension is basically equals to 4 plus 10 which is equals to uh, 14 newtons right so here in place of t we can substitute uh, 14 newtons so we're gonna have uh, 25 plus 14 divided by cos of uh, 20 degrees and if you put that in your calculator you're gonna get uh, the force applied being equals to 41.50 uh, uh, newtons right and we basically done with that equation uh, let's move to 2.2 2.2 is into us uh, the earth exerts a force of uh, 1842.5 newtons to keep a satellite of mass 200 kg in orbit around the earth as shown in the diagram below uh, we have a very fancy sketch there and then the question says uh, let's calculate the distance above the earth's surface at which the satellite orbits the earth so let's look at uh, the information we have right we have the force that is acting between uh, the earth and the satellite and then we have uh, the mass of the satellite right um, apart from the mass of the satellite we have the mass of the earth because the mass of the earth is a constant right so we have the mass of the earth and then now uh, what we're looking for is the distance between uh, the earth and the satellite right so we can use newton's law of gravitational acceleration right everybody attracts every other body with a force that is directly proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square distance between them right so we're saying that f is equals to g uh that g being a constant right and then mass of the satellite mass of the earth and then divided by the distance between them the distance between them will be equals to the radius of the earth plus the actual distance between the earth and the satellite right so we're saying that f is given to us right 1842 so we have 1842.5 uh, being equals to uh, that capital letter g right which is a constant is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 so now uh, the mass of the satellite the mass of the satellite is said to be 200 kgs and then the mass of the earth right 5.98 uh, times 10 to the minus uh, 24 
divided by the distance between them right so we have distance squared right so now uh, we're solving for the distance squared uh, it's easy to see uh, we know fully well that if we have a is equals to b uh, divided by x and you want to find x you want to cross multiply right you're gonna get a x is equals to b multiplied by one so x uh, will be equals to b divided by a right so we're going to apply the same idea in this situation our x is um is d squared right so we're gonna have something uh like this so we're gonna have d squared uh being equals to uh this entire expression here right so let me just uh, double cate it for the sake of time and then uh we dividing that by uh 1842.5 and then after you do that you definitely take square roots on both sides right so you take a square root on this side and then you take a square root on the uh, right hand side too and then you're gonna get a, a distance of six million five hundred and seventy nine thousand nine hundred and eighty two point eight meters right so this is the distance between the earth and our satellite but then we don't want the distance between the earth and the satellite we want uh, the distance above the earth's surface at which the satellite obeys right even if you look in the equation here it's in bold right the distance above the earth's surface so that distance uh, will be equals to uh, the distance we just uh, calculated right now minus the radius of the earth this question has five marks right so if you stop here you only have three marks the other two marks is for you to subtract uh, the earth's radius uh, from this value that we have so if we do that uh, we can now see uh, the distance above uh, will be equals to uh, six million five hundred and twenty nine thousand nine hundred and eighty two point eight meters minus the radius of the earth right the radius of the earth is a constant so we know fully well that that is 6.38 times 10 to the 6 uh, meters right so your answer is going to be equals to 1.9998 times 10 um, to the 5 meters